Well, hello everyone. I'm meteorologist Chesley McNeil, and welcome to Eleven Live Storm Tracker School. A little bit different than uh, some of the experiments that we talk about. We'll just be talking about things that's related to weather. Uh, just kind of educate you, our public, on all things weather. And today I have uh, relatively an easy assignment uh, for today. Thank you, meteorologist Wes Perry. Really appreciate that. So uh, today we're talking about watches and warnings and knowing the difference between the two. Uh, severe weather season for us starts now, March, is typically when our severe weather season really starts to amp up. And so we get uh, a lot of severe thunderstorm warnings, severe thunderstorm watches could be in effect. We could also have uh, tornado warnings, which is really what we don't want, right? Or tornado watches. And knowing the difference between the two are, are key into uh, protecting yourself and protecting uh, your family. And so we're going to start off our storm tracker school on the easy side today, just to let you know about watches and warnings, right? We even have hurricane watches sometimes, or hurricane warnings, you know, what's the difference in that? All right, so time to start Storm Tracker School. I don't know, you know, gotta do that. So today, even, we have the rain out there and you see a couple thunderstorms around. In fact, I'm gonna stop this, uh, put it on pause for now, widen it out a little bit. Okay, so typically you see a line like this. And so we have the rain currently. This is what's going on in Atlanta right now. We do have that rain and you see some moderate pockets. The storms were a little bit hefty back off to the west of us over toward Alabama. We had numerous lightning strikes, and now as they're moving into our area over more stable atmosphere here, those lightning strikes or those thunderstorms are starting to weaken just a little bit. But let's say, theoretically, that those thunderstorms really held on. They held on to their strength, their power, as they began to move in. And so the we don't want issue here at 11 Alive, we don't issue uh, severe thunderstorm warnings or watches. We don't do that. Those come from the National Weather Service, okay? So National Weather Service will look at the storms and they will determine whether or not it fits the criteria for it to be a warning and they will put the warning on it. So knowing that this whole line was coming in this morning, right, or let's say it's the afternoon, a severe thunderstorm watch may be issued because we're looking at this storm back off to the west, we know how powerful it is, our conditions are favorable for it, and so they may, ahead of this rain, say, uh, our area is under a severe thunderstorm watch, which means we're watching for the potential for the storms to roll in. As the storms begin to roll in, if they meet the criteria for a severe thunderstorm, which means that we, we would have to see, obviously you get some heavy, very heavy rain with it, but winds in those thunderstorms up to about 58 miles per hour plus, let's say 60 miles per hour, is producing 60 mile an hour winds and some hail, it would be deemed a severe thunderstorm. Now once that's so if a thunderstorm produces a tornado, obviously a tornado warning would be put on it. So as the storms roll in, you're still under a watch, but once we see the storm reach the criteria for a warning, that's when the warning would be issued. Right now, obviously, we don't have any of that out here, uh, but that would be the difference in our watch and then a warning. A warning means it's happening right now, where a watch means we're watching for the potential. Now, there is something that we're watching uh, for this afternoon, I'll show you in a minute. But let me reiterate that. So a watch versus a warning. A watch means conditions are favorable for development for severe weather. That goes for anything that we're watching for. So if we thought there was gonna be some snow moving into our area, let's say during the afternoon, typically in the morning, right? Early afternoon, we would say in you know, a winter storm watch is in effect because we're anticipating snow. Now once the snow starts to move in, that watch may be changed over to a warning because now snow is actually happening. Get it? So. A warning means that severe weather or the weather is happening right now, right? It's coming down on you right now. And so that would be the alert for a warning. A warning means it's happening right now. Watch means that uh, the conditions are favorable for that to take place. So whether you're talking about snow, winter weather, whether you're talking about severe weather. And now, since we're getting into severe weather season, typically what you'll see is uh, tornado watches, right? Or you'll see uh, flood watches, Right, from all this rain that we've had. Uh, and once it's happening, then you'd see maybe a tornado warning or a severe thunderstorm warning or a flood warning because it's happening. It's, in, it's, it's happening right now. Understand that? You got it? Watch versus a warning. Now here's something that we're watching for this afternoon. And sorry, Mark, to walk up on you like that. Uh, Mark is my photographer back behind the camera there. Uh, probably don't want me to shout him out, but I'll shout him out anyway because he's actually holding the stick. All right, uh, let me find this. Okay, here we go. So. The Storm Prediction Center, which is located in Norman, Oklahoma, will typically uh, let us know what level of threat we are. So when it comes to severe weather, they will let you know 
what level of threat we're expecting for that day. And then they go out about seven days, really. But uh, we'll give us a good three-day kind of an outlook uh, for what areas could see severe weather. So today, you'll notice that in the state of Georgia, there is this dark green um, blob here, if you will. Now, we have a legend up here at the top. And you can see where it has zero, one, two, three, four, five. The highest level we can go to is a five. That would be a uh, really significant risk for severe weather, all right? We are at a one today, but mainly just south uh, of Atlanta is where you find that. So you're looking at Atlanta here, there's a light green, and then there's a dark green here. And so that would be a zero, the light green would be zero out of a possible five as far as severe weather, which means the threat is not very high at all, really insignificant. And then level one, which means uh, isolated severe thunderstorms are possible. And notice the area that they, they painted here. Again, here's Atlanta, uh, just south of Atlanta, over southern parts of uh, Clayton County into uh, Fayette County, Coweta County, southward is where you're gonna find that, uh, Henry County, southward is where you're gonna find that down from Macon. And so that's the, the marginal risk for severe weather. Now that's not a watch or a warning at all. That just means that this area, according to the Storm Prediction Center, looks a little bit more favorable for it thunderstorm development than this area, or even further north of us, okay? So this afternoon, just to give you a little bonus, this afternoon with those showers that we have around right now, the possibility does exist for um, severe weather to uh, move into central Georgia. We'll say south uh, and central Georgia. For example, I have this paused here. This is our forecast track model. I have it paused here at about 8.30. Notice where it's showing those storms. And so you got some here, and then further down to the south. And so later on this afternoon, that's where we could see uh, the development for uh, some thunderstorms. And then some of those thunderstorms could be on the strong severe side, which is what a marginal risk means. Again, it doesn't have anything to do with the watch or the warning, right? Those won't be issued until the weather is happening now or whether things seem favorable for uh, severe thunderstorms and they may put out a watch a little bit later on. Mark, you see any comments there that I can comment on right now as we speak, as we wrap up uh, Storm Tracker School, any questions or comments at all that you are seeing? Okay. Hearing none. Lada, thank you for being there. Hello okay. from Dallas. From Dallas. Athens, Georgia. Ruben County. Okay. Very good. Well, let me wrap it up by saying thank you for joining us. Each day around the 11 o'clock hour, one of our meteorologists will come on and just do uh, a little weather lesson about... Uh, something that will enlighten you as far as our weather goes. And so uh, the goal is to make um, some of the vernacular that we speak. Typically when we get into it, you know, we're all into it trying to show you the weather. And so we don't really have a, enough time to really pause and explain a few things. We're hoping that this Storm Tracker Weather School will um, help you to understand what it is we're saying and better educate you so you know that when a watch or a warning is issued over your area, how to respond. Thank you for joining us. And if you have any questions at all, you can always put them right down there or check us out on our uh, Storm Tracker Facebook group. You can ask the questions in there. We'll answer those or just email me, cmcneil11live.com, and I'll do my best to answer them all. Thanks a lot for joining us. Have a great day, folks.